positron emission tomography, or PET, PET, combined with computer tomography, or CT scan, allows for two simultaneous exams. A PET exam studies the biological activity of the inner organs. A CT exam is the study of organ anatomy and morphology. The goal is to detect abnormal organic activity, such as inflammation or tumorous or infectious lesions. This film addresses itself to those wishing to know more about the examination procedure, which lasts approximately two hours. Good morning. I've come for a PET CT. Yes, of course. Hello. Hello. You are? Mrs. Weston. You've come for a PET scan? Yes. Uh, would you please follow me to the injection room? Before the doctor injects a dose of glucose, a lab assistant will measure your blood sugar level. The doctor will then install a catheter by which a slightly radioactive dose of glucose is injected into your vein. Neither the patients nor those around them risk anything from the extremely low level of radiation. This radioactive substance has a very short lifespan and is pre-prepared for the exact time of injection which is why you are requested to arrive at the appointed time. This intravenous injection is painless. The substance injected is a slightly radioactive marker, a byproduct of fluoride 18 marked glucose. It is a sugar substance which enters your bloodstream and moves throughout your body. It settles on your internal organs with a preference for the most active ones. This radioactive marker highlights biological activity. After injecting the tracer element, the doctor accompanies the patient to the rest area to wait an hour for the injected substance to attach itself to the internal organs and body tissue. You must avoid speaking and moving about so that the sugar does not settle in your muscles. Any movement or physical activity can distort scan imagery. Once the tracer element has absorbed into the body, a scan technologist will direct the patient to the restroom to urinate in order to ensure an empty bladder before imaging begins. The patient lies down with their arms over their head. It isn't very comfortable, but it is absolutely necessary to ensure good quality images. The examination is conducted using a composite device of two combined scanners. A PET scanner to record the radiation level emanating from the tracer elements attached to the body tissues, as well as an X-ray CT scanner which takes high definition anatomic images of internal organs and body tissue. The entire recording process lasts approximately one hour. One or more physicians verify the results and image quality. They may request additional images if necessary. The images are then transferred to be interpreted and analyzed by medical specialists. The results will then be sent to the attending physician, who will contact the patient for continued treatment. The patient may return home once the examination is completed. The radioactive substance that was administered at the beginning of the examination has, for the most part, already been eliminated. However, it is highly recommended to drink lots of liquid in order to eliminate the rest. As an added precaution, we also encourage you to avoid contact with small children or pregnant women for a few hours. <laughs> 